Yeah, because, you know, a little end piece here never seems to stick as well. Mostly because you get your oils on it because it's where you peel, roll back. Yeah, yeah, and I usually run through it a couple times with a rag just to try to smooth everything out. All the way around, yep, yep. try to get all the little air bubbles oh, out I here. Air bubbles. Yep, so it's a slow process. And it all depends on the rim too. This one is a little bit more unique because it has that hump in the middle, so it makes it it makes it easier for air pockets to sit on either oh, yeah. side of it. So most rim beds are flat in the middle, so it's not as hard to get everything to lay flush. But this one, as you can see, you know, has some air bubbles in it, so you just got to go back in and work them out. And then you have to make sure to get all those air bubbles out, right? Right, because it's uh, you know just a place. If it gets underneath the tape for any reason, if there's any air bubbles, and that's just a, an open gate for it to kind of make its way through the rest of the rim, and then you know it'll start leaking. New spank wheels. Yes, it's got uh, the unique rim hooking bead here. So it's uh, it's got these grooves in it that allows it to grab onto the edge of the tire. So it's pretty much a one of the better tubeless systems because there's so much friction in there. You'll likely never burp a tire off of the rim, so.